Hey y'all, it's Sean from Sean and Casey on VK Mo. And to my VK family, what's going on? And thanks for joining. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe below and join the family so you can keep up with our latest travel news, tip, and cruise. And today I want to talk to you guys about um, what can a hurricane or what effect a hurricane can have when you're on a cruise. So stay tuned. This is going to be real interesting. We on vacay mode. Hey y'all, I want to talk to you guys today about how a hurricane can affect a cruise. And the reason why I want to talk about this is because as we know, hurricane season is fast approaching us. And um, we were here, unfortunately, for Hurricane Harvey. And we know when there's a hurricane, there's strong winds, um, there's rain, there's even thunderstorm. So you might be wondering if you book around off season or um, if there's a hurricane or some kind of natural disaster, what's going to happen if you have a cruise? So something that can happen is your itinerary can change. And what I mean by that, maybe you were going to one port to call, maybe you were going to the Eastern Caribbean, but now they're going to have to switch it and go to the Western Caribbean. And if something like this do happen, um, most cruise ships tend to compensate you um, on board for, you know, missing the port that you had your heart set on going. But um, they also will refund you of any excursions or trip that you may have booked. So those are some things that they will take care of. Um, something else that can happen, your trip can definitely be shortened. And um, what I mean by that is um, you can maybe ha maybe you had a five day or seven day cruise and it can be shortened to three or four days. So or it can also be Latin, Latin and it can be longer than you're expecting. We had some friends that were actually on a cruise during Hurricane Harvey time and their cruise was a seven day cruise for a week and so happens um it actually took them two weeks before they were able to return home so when something like that happened the cruise ship definitely going to take care of you and want everyone on board to be safe so your cruise can definitely be shortened or let in depending on what's going on um something else that can take place your embarkation and debarkation ports can change so um maybe you were supposed to be actually poured back someplace but because it's a hurricane going on they can't actually port there and when it comes to that they may port you somewhere else you might thinking well how am i supposed to get back home well what most cruise ships do they're going to assist you with the fees in order to um get you back home so that's one part of it that you don't have to worry about and finally, last but not least, um, your cruise can be canceled. So you may not even get a chance to go on that cruise. And I really believe um, safety comes first. So I'd rather not cruise in rocky waters. <laughs> and um, you know, definitely you'll get your full refund back. But that's the last thing that definitely can possibly happen. Um, and it's more important to be safe than sorry. So these are some things that can definitely take place in a hurricane season or if you book a cruise off season and um, a hurricane ha happen to happen and um, um, you want to just be really um, aware of what can happen. So I just wanted to share these couple of things with you guys so um to let you know because hurricane season is fast approaching so if you're out there any one of these things can take place so i hope these tips were helpful and um please don't forget to like and subscribe below and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye